can you describe the main difference between the home audio, studio audio, and the, and the car audio based on, on what we just discussed? The differences are significant, but I, I would say that the departure point is, is the same. Uh, because what, what do we want to do building a speaker and what do we want to achieve be building a system in, in, a, in, a, in a car? Uh, we want to transfer the experience that an artist, music producer, the experience they had in the studio, and we wanted to transfer it either to the room or to the car. Mm -hmm. That's one similarity. Another similarity, well, we work with the same components. We have loudspeakers, uh, transducers, we, we have uh, amplifiers. Most of the time we have digital signal processing and, and so on. But in general, on the, on the high level, I think that's, that's pretty much it. And now the differences, I think the main, the huge difference is the, the space. The, your environment that, that you work in. And I would say that when you're designing a speaker, you anticipate the space. You try to guess the space, where the, the speaker will be placed, what kind of room, and so on. And in car audio, you, you optimize for the space. You know the space. So uh, going into a bit more detail, you know, when you, when you build a speaker, you know, you, you have your requirements, you have certain boundaries set to you by uh, product owners and, and, and so on, and price points and, and so on. And then you design, you know, using your best engineering knowledge, a, a, a product. And you, you, you tune it, you optimize it, and it leaves your hands. And that's pretty much you lose control over, over the speaker. I'm not talking about the fancy speakers that can adapt to rooms. It's traditional uh, speaker. So this speaker will be placed in, into the room. You don't know if it's going to be a large room or a small room, and that has a huge influence. Uh, you don't know where the speakers will be placed. You know, we, you, you sell a, a, a pair of stereo speakers. Well, you hope for this perfect 60-degree uh, triangle, uh, but I don't think most people will set it uh, like that. Uh, either they don't know it, how to set it up, or they just don't have the right environment. You don't know nothing about the acoustics of the room. It might be a highly reflective space. It might be a highly, highly absorptive space or some kind of a mix. And that has a huge influence again. Um, and you also know a little about the audio chain. You don't know what will be the, the, the source. If it's you know, analog processing, you don't know if, 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 your, if the customer will do a proper gain staging on, on the product uh, mm. and, and so on. Um, the distances from the speakers to listeners are, are larger. And since you have larger rooms, you need to have typically larger speakers you need to produce more volume displacement. You need to have more amplification to produce the, the same sound pressure at the, at the listening position. So that's mm. home. Now with car. In a car, you have speakers basically spread all around the car. You don't have these nice arrangement speakers close to each other. It's, it's all over the place. You have woofers in the door. Midranges somewhere in the door on the IP, tweeters, A pillar, mirror sale IP. Uh, you have speakers for the, the rear passengers, surround speakers. It's basically all over the place. And, and the environment is it's a, it's a small cabin. It's a mixture of reflection and absorption. And it might, the environment might change on if you have, for example, leather seats or, or, or textile seats and, and, and so on. But you know the environment. You tune for that uh, en environment. You optimize for this uh, environment. So you know exactly, you, you, you will spend time in, in that system. You can equalize the, the speakers. First of all, choose the right speakers for, for the application and really optimize for each seating position. So what I really like about car audio is that it's, it's it's more challenging. The process is longer, um, and it's probably more difficult. 
but you know that once the car is done and it goes into production, that then the experience that the end customer will have in that car will be very, very close to what you have tuned. So basically, you are in control of the of the experience. Mm -hmm. And that I have to say, it's 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 quite rewarding that you know that you exactly what you work uh, on. This is what the what the customer uh, will get.